really dying now, but you can try and get it past it. You're on the top, Shannon. You're on the top. Spin it down. Okay. Hey, Val. Well, he's one of the more engaged uh, coaches, is Reed Carruthers. This is Reed prior to the game. And I think, Kathy, you said he, he coaches the way he plays, and uh, he never lets a moment go by without instilling something. Well, it's interesting. Between ends, the Nova Scotia team will gather together amongst themselves, but the Team Canada team immediately come back to Reed, and I was watching him with his hands, Boy. showing them what he is seeing Boy. in paths that are different from the day before, Boy. so contributing Boy. all the time. Boy. When I spoke to him before the game, he said that yesterday he wanted to call a timeout in the second end when things were not going well against Team Jones, and he didn't do it because he felt it was so early in the game, but he said even as a coach, he's learning, and that's not a mistake he would make again. It's one of the things I wish they would, uh, Joe, Russ, them to allow. Uh, they would have a flag, throw the flag, mm -hmm. and uh, be able to, to uh, call a timeout just to settle them down because what they saw was Bumper, one yes. miss after oh, another. Happy, oh, yeah. And yeah. he didn't, mm -hmm. they yeah. weren't playing his game. Oh. They had gotten away from their game plan and they gave up a steal of four. Yeah, and hindsight is always 20 20 in that situation. You don't expect Kerry Anderson to throw a draw through the rings. It should have just been a steal of one, and then he would have had time in the break in between ends to talk about it. But, of course, knowing what had happened, I mean, that'll be a big learning experience for Reed, and they would have talked about that in their debrief and probably has permission moving forward to do that if that happens again. But you, I mean, to, the, to my point, why can't he? Why wouldn't it be something that the coach can do right that moment call? I want to, I want to talk to you right now. In the middle of that end, why would not let him do it? Ten. Would you like? Would you agree to that, or would you let him do that? I, I would, of course. And I think that the more we're seeing current players on the bench, we need more coaching involvement in curling. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, look out! Come across and off the backside. No. And will it hold and stay around? And it's the only sport in the world you coaches can't coach. You just sit and hope for those two precious minutes. The nice thing they have changed uh, in the last year or two is that they're allowing the players, at least between ends, to huddle, as Kathy just said, and no better than list to Reed Crothers. And to that note, the coach can actually signal for a timeout from the bench, mm -hmm. but the team has to call it. Yeah. Yeah. So if the team sees you and says, oh, no, we're not doing that, you don't get that timeout. He can't call it himself and just walk on the ice. That's where I'm saying. That's that your he point. Should, there. He yeah. should be able to throw a flag or do something. Well, and the challenge with that is in the game that Christina Black won to get into the tiebreakers against Lori St. George, Michelle St. George was dancing up and down with the T bar trying to get them to call the timeout. But they, they being the team, looked at the time clock, saw they were short of time, and she elected to wait to use the timeout so that she could throw rather than have a discussion. So the team can also wave you off. Sure, I do. So you throw the flag, Vic, I'm throwing it back at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly. And good brush just to hold it up. Oh, hard, hard, hard. Dying so much okay, first. that's good. Okay. Once again, it's Parker trying to hold it up. Oh, and a little more ice. Just a hair more ice. So we're getting closer. Watch it spin. And we'll get it, and look at that. Does back it up. Oh my goodness, great shot. Val Sweeting. And right back they go. Shot stone back for Nova Scotia. <laughs> Got them both? Sure do. And then just runs it by. Watch out. What are you going to show them here? Okay. Oh, well, that over curls. Here it comes. No problem there. What have you got? Oh, you're going to spill it. And they'll kill their own at the back. So miss the opportunity for three, but they'll settle for two. Team Canada, a lot sharper today. For two more and a 5-2 lead at the break. Reed Carruthers before the game said that, you know, they were angry last night. They uh, did a little yelling and then they calmed down and they were ready to play today. And we've seen a 
a more controlled game there. Tactics appear to be a little bit better. Shot making, execution, 